Welcome to Life Habit Week 1. Let's get started. So the nutrition habit assignment this week is to drink 12 cups of water per day and totally eliminate soda. Okay, so what does water do and why is this important? It lubricates your joints, it flushes toxins from your body, it increases your metabolism so that you burn more calories. That's a great reason right there. And it gives that dewy, fresh face look by plumping up the cells in our skin so the lines and the wrinkles are less visible. And it also gives you a sense of well-being. It can actually increase your energy levels. So when we're dehydrated, what are some of the things that we can experience? Weight loss definitely slows down or it can totally stop. Digestion suffers, experiencing constipation, malabsorption. We also experience fake hunger. You know, when we're dehydrated, it can make us think that we're actually hungry and we're not. Also, a loss of energy and motivation to exercise. We get water retention. So, you know, that kind of seems odd that when we're low in the water in our body, we actually retain water. And that's because our body doesn't want to give it up because it needs it. So it hangs on to extra water and we get that puffiness and that weight gain. So also we can experience mental fog, irritability, infertility, acne, and dry skin. So what counts as your 12 cups? Obviously pure water and also herbal teas are gonna count. What doesn't count are any other drinks that require some sort of, sort of liquid like coffee, soda, spark, shakes. You can also add milk to that. So look up in that orange box. When you're drinking water or tea, then that's gonna count as one of your 12 for the day. Hazardous to your efforts are definitely going to be soda pop. And some people ask, you know, why can I not drink soda? Why can I not drink even diet pop? Well, you, you can do anything you want, but to get the point for the commit to fit, we are asking you to not drink soda pop. And, um, you know, a lot of people experience weight gain when they drink pop. And then, um, also drinking juice, we put over there on the side caution and juice is very high in calories and very high in sugar. And so because it's so concentrated, even just a little bit can be hazardous to our efforts. And so we want you to use caution there. You don't lose a point for it, but we're just putting that in there so that you'll know that that could delay your results a little bit. So somebody said to me too, you know what that looks like? That looks like a, a glass of beer too. And you know, I think we could use that interchangeably if that were juice or alcohol. Either way, it's a caution because it's hazardous to um, losing body fat. So next up, one idea I wanted to give you was what I call cranberry water. So I just told you to be cautious on juice, but this is a different idea. Let me show you this. You're gonna use four ounces of pure cranberry juice. That's 100% juice. When you look on the back of the label, make sure it doesn't say a mix of grape juice and other juices. It's pure cranberry, only cranberry juice. You have to look on the ingredients on the back label. But then what you do after you have only four ounces of this, you add 28 ounces of pure water. What happens then is you get four full cups of cranberry water. So it's a very diluted cranberry juice. And I like to do this twice a day. And I put this in here because it's just a personal favorite thing of mine. And there's just been some things about cranberry juice that have been said to help with. And I feel like I experienced that. In my opinion, I experienced the water retention goes down. I feel um, a little bit cleaner on the inside. And also cranberries have a lot of different nutritional benefits. So anyway, this is just one thing that you can do to get your water down and it definitely counts as one of your um, cups of water for the day. And of course, if you did this, 32 ounces is four cups. So that counts four out of the 12. So you don't have to do this cranberry juice. It's not part of your habit or your assignment. It's just one idea. And sometimes flavored water can help, help us get that water down a little bit easier. So how are we gonna make this happen? In conclusion, we definitely need to plan ahead. We're gonna to have to carry a water bottle everywhere we go. Otherwise, we are going to end up um, out for you know four or five hours at a time and forgetting to drink water and then trying to catch up at night and that's gonna be a problem when we're chugging all that water before bed. So we don't wanna do that. Number two, spread our water intake throughout the day rather than drinking several cups at once. One thing I'm gonna mention right here is to remember that our bladder is a muscle and so some people are thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to be going to the bathroom all the time. Well, if you're not used to drinking this much water, initially you might be going to the bathroom more. And the reason for that is because that muscle needs to develop and get stronger. And just like lifting weights causes our muscles to get stronger and we can handle more weight, our bladder, as we consistently drink more water, it will be able to carry more water inside of it. So all that means is that 
it might take a little bit of time for the bladder to work up and then you won't feel like you're going to the bathroom every other minute. So um, you should see major improvement just doing this consistently over time very quickly. And then number three, instead of nibbling on food, reach for your water, water bottle first. So sometimes we remember when we're dehydrated, we think we're hungry. So why don't you grab your water first and just see if that's the issue. And then, you know, after 10 or 15 minutes, if you're still hungry, then, um, then you eat. But sometimes we just need to quench our thirst first and then figure out if we're really hungry or not. Okay, so here are the point rules. There's your 12 cups of water there and your little I'm not going to drink soda pop sign over there in the corner. And this is when you're going to get your point. Each day that you drink a minimum of 12 cups of water and or tea or even the cranberry juice, then you're going to get one point. You get zero points and you forfeit your point if you drink less than 12 cups of water or tea or if you drink a soda pop you are throwing your point out for some of you this is going to be a very easy life habit for you to follow for others you're saying oh my goodness did they have to start out this way because maybe pop is a major craving that you have during the day I can tell you this if you will just start give yourself three or four or five days where you do not drink soda pop something's gonna happen your desire for it is going to diminish greatly and that that should be expected that you should um, those cravings should go go down dramatically so um, get that water in and get your point every day this week I know you guys can do it okay see you next habit